Welcome back to part 3 on this engine build. Uh, in this part, uh, I first gonna work on the clutch cover. It's this one. And when this one is finished, you in theory can already put the engine together and make it work. So, first thing I gonna do is remove most of the material on the inside and just rough machine the outside to get rid of most of the material the 5 speed has an extra bearing which support the end of the uh, crankshaft so this is additional from the previous uh, one I made and I added some ribs for reinforcements and after that I will bolt it to the fixture plate like this and then I can uh, machine the outside work put in the name again and then I have to do some rest machining machine this hole where the uh, clutch shaft goes through and here where the, the clutch cable will mount it it's uh, another interesting part to make so first this side to get rid of most of the material and get all the critical features inside. Once again, most of the material is now roughed out. I created a bunch of finishing programs to finish up the inside. I'm just gonna run them, make some small clip, but with, with this amount of coolant there's nothing to see. And the coolant can also not drain away, so it will always stay, stay like this. Most of the finishing work is now done. The things left to do is uh, use the boring head to finish the dimension for the bearing. And I'm gonna use a thread mill to cut all the threads in here. And then this side is finished. Do some chamfers, don't forget it. And then, yeah, then this one is done. This side is now finished, always took a little bit more time than you think, just small details, chambers, uh, thread cutting the holes, first start a little s smaller, don't want to oversize it, but it's just just right now. Also made the, the hole all the way through so I can uh, find the center point for up to. So now we're going to get it out, clean it, and then mount it to the fixture plate, and then machine the other side. It's now, it's now time to set up for up to. Uh, I will bolt this back to the fixture plate. I already cut a chamfer on this side. So when it's beholded like this, I still need to finish up this wall. And I can just um, use my end mill, uh, back off a little bit on this surface. And then I should be able to finish it without touching the fixture plate. And then the, the chamfer will make sure that there is no sharp edge on that side. 
So now I will set it up, use this indicating hole and the top of the fixture plate for the work coordinate system. And then first the rough off uh, the stock material. And then because the whole surface is uh, round, I need to do some uh, 3D ball nose work, which will probably take a lot of time, but I want to try to make a nice as surface as possible. Most of the work is now already finished. I <coughs> now gonna run the 3D finishing operation on the top side. It's roughly two hour program. Slowly, small step over, try to get the highest finish possible. So I just gonna start it, let it run, gonna do something else and hope it finish all well out. The 3D operation is now finally finished, turned out quite nice and smooth. Now the next step is to uh, mill out uh, the letters where the logo will be and then do some drilling and thread cutting for the oil plug and here. So this will be another slow process because I have to do it with a two millimeter end mill so it won't go that fast. It took many hours but this side is now also finished. The logo is inside, did some chamfers, 3D machine these um, features, so now I can get it out and fit it on the engine. And then the things I still have to do is uh, machine a hole in here where the clutch shaft will go through and I have to drill a hole from here and cut some thread in it and you can use that too adjust the clutch. For the next operation I need to machine a hole in here for the clutch shaft and then the end mill will go all the way in and machine these two features which needs to be in line with this hole. So I'm gonna clamp the part like this on the fixture plate on the and then on the angle plate um, I also need to make a slot in here where the clutch cable can go through but before that I need to drill a hole on an angle and tap it before I gonna cut the, the slot in else drilling gonna be difficult so I'm gonna do that first on the manual mill and then put it back in the CNC. I set up the part like I said on the angle plate I need to drill the hole here on a small angle and then I can tap it. It just machine barely fits. So I probably have to drill a little and then lower the drill a little inside the hole. Then I can drill the, the second half because I don't have more reach 
between the fixture and the color. The part is now back in the CNC mill. I mount the fixture plate on this angle plane, bolt it down, uh, set the work coordinate system uh, on the fixture plate. So the center of here, the side of this, and the top of here. So then Fusion knows where the part is. Uh, I need to machine this hole and mill the slot in here and drill a small hole. Not a lot of work. So let's get it done. The features on this side have now been machined, machined the hole, the uh, flat spot for the o-ring, a hole that will hold the spring so the clutch handle will come back and machine the, the slot where the cable can go through. So next step is uh, tilt it all the way back up because I need to drill a hole from here where the clutch adjuster will be mounted. I mounted the mechanical parts for the clutch handle. Everything seems to fit and work fine. So when you pull the clutch here, this part gets up and it will push against the uh, clutch plates to dis disable the clutch. So now this one is also finished. I only have to put in the bearing and then it can be mounted on the engine and then mechanically it should be already finished and we should be able to to already start it As you could see from the pictures, I put together the engine. Uh, I didn't make videos of the assembly, but everything is put together now. So now the, the next part to machine is the ignition cover that will hide the ignition and finish off the right side of the engine. It depends on where you're standing. It will be machined from uh, this piece. There's a lot of material to remove since it's only a super thin cover. So let's finish up the programming, mount it in the machine, and rough out most of the material away in the first half. It took roughly 20 minutes to rough out uh, all this inside work. Uh, I had a little bit issue that my water is running out, so the flood coolant wasn't working that probably. So I used the, the air blow also, so it makes a hell of a mess everywhere. So now I'm trying to 
mix up some extra coolant for the for the next few operations. Finished uh, up one on the ignition cover. I didn't make a lot of videos on this side. Um, so now I can get it out, mount it to a fixture plate, and then uh, use the 3D function to machine the bolted side and the other side and put the logo in. For up two, I have this plate I used last time since the ignition cover is is the same from previous engine um, there's this uh, contour sticking out which will be uh, in here so it's located um, on the fixture plate and then X and Y will be this uh, zero point will be this hole again so I'll mount it together bolt it with these two holes put it in the machine dial it in and then make some program After another many hours of 3D finishing, this part is now finished. I only don't have hit had the sufficient tools to machine this part because it needs to be done with a two mm end mill, but I don't have one that has this long reach. But it will be hidden behind a rubber uh, rubber seal, so you will not see it. And for the function, it doesn't really matter. So I will get it out of the vise, mount it to the engine, see how it's gonna look. The cover is now finished. Time to mount it on the engine. Seems to fit just like it should be so now the engine is finished now we can try to start it up see if everything really works